Section 10.4.3. To test the null hypothesis where the population standard deviation is equal to 1.3 versus the alternative hypothesis where the population standard deviation is less than 1.3, a random sample of size n is equal to 15 is obtained from a population that is known to be normally distributed. So in part A it says if the sample standard deviation is determined to be S which is equal to 1.7, compute the test statistic. Well let's first take a look at the formula for the test statistic. We need the sample size, the sample standard deviation, and the population standard deviation. So let's write down the information that's given. Well we know that N in the problem is equal to 15. We know that the population standard deviation that's given in the problem is going to equal 1.3. And we know that the sample standard deviation that's given here is going to equal 1.7. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this formula to determine our test statistic. So we know that n is equal to 15. We're going to subtract 1 and multiply that by the standard deviation squared or the sample standard deviation over the population standard deviation squared. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll open up our calculator here. So we have 15 minus 1 times 1.7 squared and then we're going to divide that by 1.3 squared okay and then what we're going to do is once we get our result here we're going to round this number to three decimal places so that means we're going to get a test statistic of 23.941. So our test statistic for the chi-square distribution is 23.941. Okay, next it's asking us that if the researcher decides to test this hypothesis at the alpha equals 0 0.05 level of significance, determine the critical value. Okay, so we have our critical uh, chi-square distribution. Okay, so what do we need to know first? Well, we know that we're given a sample size of n is equal to 15. So in order for us to find the degrees of freedom, we know it's going to be the sample size and I subtract 1. Well, the sample size is 15. We're going to subtract 1 to give us 14. Okay, next, number 2. Okay, since this is a less than, this is a left tail. So we're using the level of significance to be 0 0.05. So we're going to find the critical value if it's a left tail. Okay, so if it's a left tail, then we know what that graph is going to look like. That means that we're looking for chi square 1 minus alpha. And so we know that alpha represents 0 0.05. So we're looking for the chi square of 0 0.95. So we're looking for the area of where we have 0.95 and the degrees of freedom is 14. So we're looking for a chi-square of 0 0.95. So okay we know that the degrees of freedom is 14. We know the area that we're looking for is 0.95. So here is 0 0.95 and our degrees of freedom is 14. So let's go ahead and take a look at that so we can see that we get a critical value of 
So there is our critical value. Okay, then now that we found our critical value, now what we want to do is we want to be able to draw a chi-square distribution and depict the critical region. Okay, so remember that since this is less than, okay, we can see that this is less than. That tells us that this is a left tail. So we should have a chi-square drawing that looks like the following so we know that it's skewed right okay and we know that we have a left tail so recall that if it's a left tail then we have a critical value that represents one minus alpha which we found to be chi square which is one minus 0 0.05 which gave us the critical value at the area of 0 0.95. And what did we get? We got 6.571. Okay, and so now we need to find the critical region. Well, the critical region, since it is less than, then the critical region is gonna be located to the left of that critical value. So therefore, this represents the critical region. Okay, the last question says here, will the researcher reject the null hypothesis and why? Well, the researcher will reject the null hypothesis if the test statistic falls within the critical region. So what I mean by that is, let me go ahead and pull this picture down here. Okay. Okay, so there is our critical region. All right, and so let's go ahead and again, draw this here. We know that our critical value, we're gonna call it critical value is 6.571, okay? And our test statistic is 23.941. So that's 23.941. So that means that 23.941 does not fall within the critical region. So because the test statistic does not fall within the critical region, we're saying here that the test statistic versus the critical value so 23.941 is greater than 6.571 and so therefore we do not reject the null hypothesis and so therefore we would say that the researcher cannot reject the null hypothesis